everybody. Welcome back. This is Julie. Uh, Flask Tube channel is called Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. This is my 10th floss tube. Every time I, I start to film this, the, do the dog always comes over. I think just because he's like, why are you talking to yourself, mom? What's going on? Are you okay? So he always comes over and kind of says hi. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I apologize. I feel like it's been a, a little bit of a delay from my last video. But um, I've been having te technical difficulties. I actually, this is my fourth time filming this. There were lighting problems and editing problems and iPhone storage problems. And I think I finally figured it out. I went and bought new lighting. Let's hope it, it holds. Um, and I hope it's good enough. I hope it's not still too dark. So I'm trying. Anyway, um, there's a lot going on. Um, first of all, I had a fan encounter. I was at my local needle workshop. It's called a stitching shop. It's in Denver. It's amazing. It's awesome. They have everything. I, I think I was there for like two hours. Every time I go there, I'm there for a few hours. Um, so anyway, I walk in and this lady comes up to me and she's like, hi. Like, I know you from Floss Tube. And it was just like, it was so surreal. It was, it was really cool and really sweet. And like, I wasn't uncomfortable or anything, but I was just like, like, it was so weird. Um, but you know, if I'm, if anyone's going to recognize me from Floss Tube, it's going to be like at a cross stitch store. So, I mean, it made sense, but it was just so weird. Um, but anyway, it was really nice, but I was so like caught off guard that, you know, I didn't even ask the lady what her name was. And I felt kind of bad about that afterwards. Like, I hope I wasn't trying to be rude. And if you are watching, um, I'm really sorry that I didn't, you know, like officially introduce myself or ask you what your name was like a polite person. Um, I was also like super focused, like I was on a mission. And I'll tell you guys about that later. But um, anyway, it was really nice. So she was really funny because she was there. So this was on um, the Saturday before New Year. So I think it was like December 30th. And um, she, <laughs> she was like, I'm here because I'm doing Stitch from Stash next year and I need to buy some stuff. I just thought that was hilarious and you know, so true of all of us. Um, and then, you know, at the time I was like, oh, I could never do stitch from stash. Never. I'd love to shop. And that's still probably true. But, um, my boyfriend decided this year, like we need to really, really buckle down and save. And he has like these huge goals and we have to save like so much money because we want to get a house. And so lo and behold, my fun money, fun budget has been slashed dramatically. Um, so I will still shop. I will still buy stuff. I'm not even going to pretend like I won't because I know myself, but I really am going to try to like rein it in, uh, not shop as much and really shop more thoughtfully. Like I don't want to just buy stuff willy-nilly. Like I want to sit on things. Like, do I really want that? Maybe I need to save for a little bit. Maybe I need to save to kit that up. Um, and just try to be, you know, I'm, I am going to try to do more stitch from stash, um, and shop a little less, which was not my intention going into the year. But once we like sat down and had this budget talk, like I was like, fine. So it's actually really cool. It's kind of like awesome because it's making me look at my stash some more because I was so focused on what's new, what's next, like what do I not have? Like, oh, I don't have that pattern. I need that pattern. And now it's kind of cool to be like, I'm really excited to stitch a lot of the things I have that I haven't even touched yet. So with that said, I have some new starts this video for sure. And I have like some things I'm just itching to get at. So it's kind of exciting, but you know, I'll still have haul. Like, don't you guys worry. Um, the other thing before we get to the stitching, which I know I'm really sorry, guys, like blah, 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 blah. Um, but this is a good thing. I have 
reached 500 subscribers, which is so crazy. Like I was like, I feel like I was at like 200 and then all of a sudden I was at 500. So I don't know what happened, but it's awesome. And I want to do a giveaway for my 500 subscribers. So here's what I've got. And these are two brand new patterns that have just been in my stash that I bought, uh, never opened, never used, and then finally realized like I'm probably not ever going to stitch these. So let's do a giveaway. Um, so the first one, it's in French. I'm not going to be able to pronounce it worth a crap. Um, Reflet de Soie. And the pattern is called Beatrix Pierre 1891. And I still think it's gorgeous. I just know I'm not ever going to stitch it. I would take it out of the plastic to show it a little better, but because I don't want to, because it's new and, and beautiful <laughs> and I'm going to give it away. So I don't want to open it. I hope you guys can see that. Um, so that's one. And then the second pattern is Brenda Gervais wool and flax, which I do again, really love, but I've got a hundred other things to stitch. So so if you would like to win either of those two patterns, here's what I want to do. I have a birthday coming up. It's on January 29th. So I had this idea that um, one way to like help pick a winner, and here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to pick two winners for the two patterns. So um, because I think they're so different, I didn't want to like assume someone would want both of them. Uh, the styles are a little different. So, anyway, my birthday is January 29th. I want you to guess how old I'm going to be on January 29th, 2018. If you guess right, then you're a winner, but unless there's more than one of you, in which case I'll do like a random drawing. So, um, if you guess my birthday right, well, here, in the comments, guess my birth, I blah, 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 blah. Guess how old I'm going to be. And then tell me, you know, I'd like the Beatrix Pierre or I'd like the Brenda Gervais or I'd like either, whichever, whatever your preference is. And, um, and guess my age. And then whoever gets it right, um, I'll pick two winners from that pool and we'll go from there. I hope that makes sense. I hope this works and I hope it's not a... It doesn't bite me in the butt like when I see your answers. <laughs> um, the other thing though is you have to be a subscriber and that's not because I want to get more subscribers. It's because I don't think I can send a message to someone who's not a subscriber. I sure didn't have a, I don't know, I couldn't figure it out last time I did a giveaway. So hit subscribe because then I think I can message you. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, so giveaway. Yay! Okay, and then I want to do a shout out to Pam and Steph at Just Keep Stitching because they've said hi to me in both of their last two videos. So, like, we're pretty much best friends. So, hi, Pam. Hi, Steph. I still love you guys. You're, you guys are the only ones who I will watch, like, a long video and I will actually I mean I will watch it through I won't like for, skip or whatever like you know some videos you're like okay get to this stitching like this video ha 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 so anyway um I will I will watch your hour and 48 minute videos guys because I love you and I also wanted to say hi to uh Lisa the kindred stitcher if she's watching hi Lisa because she's awesome and she also shouted me out but more importantly um, we, we both are fans of each other and I love, like, we both have the exact same taste. So every time I watch her video, I'm like, I heard, I stitched that. Oh, I have that in my whips. Oh, I have that in my, uh, ready to start pile. Oh, I need to buy that. I've never seen that. I need that. So we like, I mean, we like almost all the same stuff. So I always really enjoy her videos, but it's really bad for my wallet, especially with stitch from stash, but it's okay. I'll keep watching. 
And then one last person I wanted to mention is Bluebird Stitcher. Wait, is it Stitches or Stitcher? Bluebird Stitches. She only has a couple videos up, but um, I, I stumbled upon her because I think Top Knot Stitcher said to go watch her. And I did, and I just loved her videos. So I wanna encourage everybody to go check her out. Again, it's called Bluebird Stitches. She does beautiful, beautiful finishing absolutely beautiful like everything she held up was like it looked like a vana piece like just perfect and beautiful um and she's really sweet so um hello if you're watching and everybody go check her out all right so let's get to stitchy stuff um i did a little bit of haul but i've been really good um i've just been buying patterns on etsy and you guys know those tend to be pretty cheap so um Someone on Stitch Mania posted a completed piece of this. And I was like, I need that. Where's that from? And she replied really quickly with, uh, it's Nikki Pattern, N-I-K-K-I-E. No, E. N-I-K-K-I Pattern on Etsy. I bought it like two minutes after she replied. <laughs> so it's Boba Fett from Star Wars, but it's in this really cool like watercolor style. My boyfriend's favorite Star Wars character is Boba Fett, so I thought I would stitch that for him. Uh, funny story, our niece, who is four, um, her favorite Star Wars character is also Boba Fett because that's Uncle B's fave. So I think that's adorable. Um, and then from the same designer, a couple other things caught my eye. I just went to get that one and her prices were very reasonable. So I also got this tattoo style Boba Fett. And then I think this was like a set of three. Um, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, and a Darth Vader. And then the other thing I did, I bought that I know you guys have probably seen, um, the Gift of Stitching Cross Stitch Magazine. It was a digital magazine and it was active, I think like 2008, 2009. And you can buy her back issues on her Etsy store. Um, and they were already really reasonably priced. I think they were like $3 a piece, but they're full of really nice patterns. So um, they're they were already an amazing value, but she decided to close up shop. So her, um, she slashed everything to a dollar fifty. So I bought a lot. I can't show them. I'm not going to attempt to. Yeah. And you guys, this is after I thinned them. I think I bought. Well, I bought twenty six issues, and then I went back and bought like six more. So. I bought like 30 issues and I went through and thinned them and like took out like the ads and stuff. So these are like just the patterns. So I have patterns to last me the rest of my life. Stitch from stash should be okay on that, on that front. But anyway, she's called, her store is called designs by Kirsten K I R S T E N E designs by Kirsten E on Etsy. And I, I hope, I want to say it was through the, the whole month of January, I hope. Um, and then she says she's closing up and you're not going to be able to get these again. So uh, run, don't walk if you need to get some of those issues. There are, there are prairie schooler patterns. There are primitive hair, um, ink circles. I mean, like every big designer like has, is featured in her issues. So there are some absolutely stunning patterns that, you can't get anywhere else. And um, I've got them now. Um, okay, and then now let's get to some stitching. So the first thing I was working on was, uh, so after Christmas, you know, I was a little burnt out on Christmas stitching, but I still, I, I was okay with doing some winter stitching. So I finally started Rosewood, or maybe I'd already, did I start it, or I'd already started it and stitched on it? 
This is how long it's been since I've made a video. I'm like confused. I think this is a new start. Rosewood Manor Winter Quakers. So the called for uh, fabric is picture this plus dwarf, but you all might know that in real life, dwarf is not this light. It's actually like a medium blue almost. It's a lot darker than this anyway. So I ended up getting hand dyed by Stephanie in snow drifts um, for mine because it looked, all, it looked, actually it's almost identical to, um, I don't know how well this will show up, but it's like identical <laughs> to what lo it looks like. <clears throat> and I thought I did a pretty, I got pretty, a pretty good start here. Got almost the first page done. And I'm stitching it with the um, Valdani threads that it comes with. You know, this little pack. Well, I shouldn't say it comes with, but that you have the option to buy. And um, I'm actually super loving it. Now, I started the Autumn Quakers, and I did it with those, the Valdani threads, and I wasn't a fan of those at that time. And now that I has stitched I think it was the fabric I was stitching on picture this plus um and the Valdani seemed really like scratchy and rough and it like was shedding a lot of lint and stuff and it's not doing that at all on this hand dyed by Stephanie so I I don't know if I had a weird batch or if it was like the picture this plus fabric that was catching all those fibers um it's stitching up wonderfully on this so I kind of understand now when people were like, oh, these are a joy to stitch with. They're so great. And then I stitched with them and I was like, I don't know about all that. But now I'm like, oh yeah, these were nice. So I think it might be the fabric. Kind of weird. And again, I'm doing this on um, 28 count, which is what it calls for. So I was working on that. And then, okay, I'm in the Shadowing support group on Facebook. And... On like on Friday December 29th a lady named Pam posts hey guys like don't forget January 1st we're ready to go are you all kitted up you got you got your uh, Chatelaine Chatelaine Outlander all ready to go for our Sal and I was like ah! like record screech what what how did I miss this how have I missed this group there's an entire group d dedicated to this, and I've been totally unaware. Now, I hadn't bought the um, the pattern yet, but it was absolutely on my will buy this year. I, I have um, that one and one other, no, two other patterns that I'm like, yep, I'm buying those. Um, so I always intended to buy it and stitch it, but I was like, shoot, there's a sale starting on Monday. I want to jump in on that but I don't have anything. So I bought the PDF from uh, the Chatelaine website. And then I, that's why I was at my local needlework store, a, sti a stitching shop on Saturday before New Year's because I had the, that was my only chance to kit this thing up. So I went, I bought all the specialty threads. They had everything. Um, the only, there was like one or two colors they didn't have and it was, that was fine. Um, so I bought all of this fancy floss, like cleaned them out of thread gatherer, silk and colors, but they had everything, um, that I needed. But then I was like, Oh God, the fabric, I hope they have a fabric. Cause I knew what I wanted in my head. I had this vision. I guess I should show you guys the pattern first, huh? So this is the pattern on black fabric. So what she did was she took her original um, Alpine Garden mandala and she tweaked it a little bit for Outlander, the TV show and the novels. Uh, so there's like the overall look of it. And then here is a close up. And I don't think anyone's actually stitched this yet. So that's why it's just like digital renderings. Um, but she added the Fraser tartan right here the plaid. She added some strawberries, which have significance to their first home on Fraser's Ridge. 
Um, and then she added the Frasier clan motto right there, which I can't say. It's in French. It's je suis prêt. I do know it means I am ready. Um, because I have read the books and I love the books and I love the TV show. Um, the books, I encourage you to read them if you haven't, but just you need to know going in, they are long, long, long books. They're all like, you know, I could take you a good month or so just to read one. They are great books though. So anyway, all right. So in my, so that was on black fabric and white fabric, but I had this, I had this vision. I wanted something like not quite blue, not quite green, kind of like a sea foam, like mint turquoisey kind of color. I had it in my head. Um, and I went to my LNS and by God, they had the absolute most perfect fabric. It's called Meadow Mist by Zweigert. And I don't know, you know, this is gonna be, it's probably a tricky color to show up, but it's just perfect. And it's it's modeled, but very subtle, enough to make it interesting, but it doesn't overwhelm. Because you know, Martina um, said she liked more simple fabrics for her designs. She didn't want them to get overwhelmed. Uh, by some by weirdness <laughs> so um, I did get a little start so this was my new year new start on January 1st and um, let me show you I didn't get a lot done but I got a little bit so I got a mountain and some trees and then I made these needle minders because I couldn't find needle minders I couldn't find Outlander themed needle minders anywhere. So I made my own. There you go. I actually made a lot more than that. I made like 20. Those are just the ones I randomly threw on here. Okay, so super excited because now I own three fully kitted Chatelaines. I've started two. The third I own and haven't started because I'm saving it for my birthday. So January 29th, I'm going to start Chatelaine Marie Antoinette Mandela. And I bought it like in June, um, kitted it up completely, but then I had to wait for my fabric from Picture This Plus because I bought it at their Christmas sale, Christmas in July sale. I didn't get that until November 30th. So uh, I got it, but then I was doing Christmas to Jean. Um, then we got to January and I knew I didn't have to do Christmas stitching anymore. And I thought, well, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to save it for my birthday because it's special. It's, it's my favorite. So that's going to be my birthday start. Um, and then I'll have three Chatelaine whips. The other two I want to buy are, um, the poison garden. That one's amazing. And then the other one is, um, amazing. Oh, it's going to, I'm not going to be able to remember it. Amazing Earth. I don't know. It's got the solar system on it. It's got all the planets on it. And the colors are incredible. So those are the two that I still need to buy. Um, okay. So what else did I work on? Oh, so there's some sales going on. You all know. Frosted Pumpkin, Clouds Factory, like a hundred other things. Um... I kind of got burnt on sows last year where like most of them were fine, but some of them I was like, after a few months I was like, I don't think I would have bought this if I had known like the overall, what, what it was going to look like. It looks, it's fine. It's fine. I don't love it. Um, so I kind of learned a lesson, um, to be a little more patient and wait and see. <laughs> but there was one sow that I knew and I did buy in December because I was like, you know what, I'm doing it. I don't care what it looks like, I'm in. And that was the Armada Designs Harry Potter class schedule stitch along. I knew I was gonna do that no matter what. I dyed my own fabric for it, it's 28 count. Um, and here's the January, well here's the, the frame that says class schedule and then here's the January block. The only change I made was to add some whiskers to McGonagall the cat. I thought, I thought that cat needed some whiskers. So I backstitched a couple. 
I'm just like, you guys, I'm obsessed with this fabric. Look at this. It reminds me like of the Dementors, like the misty, like wraithiness of the Dementor. I'm obsessed. So this was the one Sal I bought sight unseen and I love it. There was one other Sal that caught my eye, but I was, and it was the Ingleside Imaginarium uh, Guardians of Notre Dame. And she released like just the, the frame, like the border. And I was like, ooh, that's pretty. But then I was like, okay, gargoyles, that's, that's cool. But then I just, I couldn't see it in my head. Like how are we putting gargoyles in these little like long skinny panes? I, I don't get it. And I'm just not sure, I'm not sure. So I was like, you know what, that's fine. I'm gonna wait and see. I'm gonna wait till it comes out and I'm gonna see. So January 1st, it came out. Yep, I need that, gotta have that. So <laughs> I bought that and I stitched it. Um, so here's what the, the border looks like that I was talking about. Really cool, right? But I couldn't picture how those gargoyles were gonna fit in. Well, that's how they did, how she did it. And isn't that amazing? It's so cool. So I bought that from her Etsy and I wanted to start it right away and I didn't have quite a, I couldn't figure out what fabric, it, it just wasn't right. Um, I had some 28 count white cashel so I dyed it myself. I'm not in love with it but it will work and I just wanted to get this started and I did. So here's what I got done for January, which I've, I've got it all done other than the, the border. And then I made my own little gargoyle needle miter. So how cool is that? Um, gentle, it calls for a gentle arts for the, for the frame. It's called Moonlit Path, I think, and it's back ordered. So I'm waiting for that, but it's fine. I'll, I'll just keep stitching on it. I'll fill that in later. I don't need it right. I don't have to have it yet. So there's that. So I mean, <laughs> I'm up to two cells, guys. <laughs> um, well, I'm in another cell that's not really like a cell, like a mystery cell. Um, I'm doing the Jane Austen cell on Facebook, but that's kind of like choose what you want. So let me show you what I chose for that one. I have many Jane Austen patterns, as I showed in a previous video. I chose Little House Needleworks, the bookshelf, because uh, the first book we're doing is Sense and Sensibility, and that book is specifically called out on this pattern. Sense and Sensibility. So I'm stitching this with the, I substituted all the, it only calls for DMC, and I wanted, I thought this was a little special. I wanted to be fancier than that. So I'm using a bunch of classic color works and gentle arts. I just pulled the DMC colors and then kind of matched them up with fancy floss. I'm doing this on, um, I think it's called, it's 36 count winter moon. And it's, I'm loving it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And here's one thing I've learned. Um, I love Little House Needleworks. Like, their patterns, obviously, you look at the pattern and you're like, that looks great. But I mean, I actually love stitching them. Um, this is the fourth or fifth one I've worked on, and I haven't wanted to put them down. Like, I've wanted to just keep on. I don't want to stop. Like, I love stitching these. So, they might be my one of my faves. pretty. All right. And then one last whip or new start. So yeah, that's a lot of new starts guys. Um, and then I thought, okay, I want to tackle a big project. Like I have some fully kitted up things that I've just been too intimidated to start because they're huge and I know they're going to take forever. 
And I finally, I don't know why, but I randomly just was like, this is the one. I finally started after six months. Lila Studios, Let Freedom Ring. And you've all seen it. It's a pretty, it's a, it's a bear of a, of a chart. I started it though. So this is three days of stitching. So this is on the chart on on the building it's this this little bit right here so look how much more of that building I have to do ah! but it's okay it's gonna be great and you know what I mean it yeah it's a lot of work and it's hard but I'm very much enjoying it I even just these block these it's actually kind of nice because once you get like your your parameters it's just filling in filling in filling in like these are just you know count six over count however many up and then just fill it in so at least it you don't have to think really hard about it now the picture I chose for this or the the fabric I chose is the primitive hair old New England I believe is what it's called and it's 35 count and I'm doing one over two and I'm so excited about this fabric it's this like super dirty aged, like, oh, look at it. I think it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna look like an old document. I was originally gonna do this on Picture This Plus Relic, which would look a lot closer to what like the picture looks like. And I think it would look so good on that too. Like I think that would be great. Um, but I've seen a lot of people do this on just kind of a solid color, like a nice cream. Um, or a white. I haven't seen anybody take any like crazy risk with this project or do anything really unusual. Um, and so I'm kind of excited. I, I think it's going to look awesome. Like look at that fabric. It's amazing. And I'm so excited. Like I finally found the perfect project for it. And, by the way, this is my first primitive hair linen. Oh, it's awesome. It's stitching up so good. It's to die for. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful to stitch on. I'm so, so enjoying stitching on it. So it's, it's great. So, you know, maybe I won't touch that again for a while. But I'm, I want to, I'm going to move on tonight. I, I've stitched on that for four days, I think. I'm ready to start something else. But um, I hope to go back to it because it's really fun. And I really do want to, like, tackle that thing and, and make some progress. So, um, yeah. So that's all that I've been stitching on the last three weeks or so. Um, a lot of new starts. And I, I've got some more planned. I've showed you guys before all my kitted up new starts right here. And, uh... I'm going to, after this video, I'm going to get in there, I'm going to pull one out, whatever's calling to me, and I'm going to stitch on it. I don't want to do any whips right now. I want to, I'm, I'm about the new starts this month, I think. So, um, so that's my plan. So next video, you'll see what I, what I chose. Um, and then we'll also see who won these two patterns. Um. So again, comment below, how old am I going to turn on January 29th and subscribe so that I can message you. We'll see who wins. Um, all right, guys, that's all I've got for now. Um, these are always really awkward video to like end the video. It's always kind of weird. <laughs> so anyway, um, keep on stitching. Keep watching Floss Tube. And um, thanks for watching me. And I hope you guys are all having a, a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.